Okay, everyone. So now we are going to make the program in which we are going to count and make some of the records in database. So first of all, I am going to provide the name here. Let us suppose I am giving my name in the text. So Ankit Verma, I am mentioning. Now afterward, I am going to provide here a label so that we are going to count and sum. So I am mentioning count and sum of records. So here, these are the records which we have taken from database. So this is the count and sum. So here I am going to modify this. Now these are the records which we will take from the database and I am going to extend this. Here we are going to provide one button. First of all, we are making the program where we are going to make count. So first of all, we are writing here count. Now, when we click on this button, we want that how many records are available. So we should count it. Now, before going to make any of the connectivity, we know that there are three steps. So we are going on the first step that is creating the database. We are using the access here. Now click on the access, then afterward providing the name of database. Let's say DB. Then afterward clicking on that and providing the path. I'm, I want to save this on the desktop. So I have written desktop. I want to make it compatible with the previous versions. That's why I'm opting this 2002 and 2003 format. Click on OK. You can see that database name is db.mdb. This is MS Access database. You can create SQL Oracle if you want. Now click on create. So database is created. Now here is the time to design the table. So right click on that, click on design. Now, first of all, we are going to provide the name of table. Let us suppose that the name of table is employee. Click OK. Then afterward, we are going to provide that is employee ID. So E underscore ID we have mentioned. We want that there should be normal numbers. So we have made it. Then afterward, let us suppose that we are mentioning employee name. Now employee name we want into the short text. Let's say we are mentioning employee address. Now afterward, we are marking it as long text. So this is the structure which is designed and employee ID is the primary key. We can see that key is available. Right click and open. It is asking us to save the database, save it. Then afterward, we are entering some of the values here. Let us suppose that employee ID is one and the name we are mentioning is Ankit. Then afterward, address we are mentioning is Delhi. Then again, we are going to provide the second record, let's say two. Here we are mentioning that Verma. And again, we are mentioning the location as Delhi. Two records are there. Employee ID is one and two. So we are going to save that. Then afterward, close it. So first part, creating the database is over. Now is the second part that provide the connectivity. So creating the connection, we are going on the server explorer. Right click on the database, then afford add connection. We are using the access, so that's why we are opting the access database. If you are using the SQL, click over there on SQL. Or if you are working with Oracle, then select the Oracle. Otherwise, select the ODBC. So here we are using the access, so I am opting the Microsoft access. Click OK. Then we are going to provide the database file name. So here click on browse and provide the path where database is present. So it is on the desktop, DB, select it and click on open. If your database is having some user ID and password, so mention that otherwise lead with blank. Then after test connection, connection succeeded. If it is not succeeding, that means you have not created the proper connection or your database file is not supporting. So click on OK, then afterward click OK. You can see that there is a small plug. That means second part is also over. That is connection is created. So first part database created over. Second part connection created over. Now third part, we have to link with the controls. Control means, means the button I want that there should be finding sum or the count of records. So for that, I have to do the coding. First of all, we are going on the form load. So double click on that. Now here, this is the loading of form load. Means whenever you click on this start debugging button, then form load coding will work. Now on the top, we are going to import one namespace. 
So here we are going to write that which is imports. Then we know that system is the main namespace which is the root. Inside that we are having data. Data is the main for all the database connectivity. Inside that we are having OLEDB. This OLEDB we are using for the access connectivity. You can use the ODBC if you want. Depending upon the database we have taken. Now inside the form, above the form load, we are going to make the connection object. So we are marking dim cone as new. That is OLEDB connection. So first of all, we are going to connect the database with the .NET. So that's why this connection is created. Now when the form will load, we want that connection should be created with the help of the connection string. So we are mentioning that cone dot connection string and here we are passing the connection string into the double quote. So here this connection string we are taking from server explorer clicking on the db.mdb which we have connected. On the right hand side in the properties we have the connection string so we are going to copy it. First of all we are going to select the complete string then right click copy. Then afterward inside the double quotes we are going to right click and paste. So connection string is pasted here. Now we can see that there are multiple double quotes inside. So all the double quotes which we are having just remove that. So these double quotes we have removed. Now this is the connection string which contain the provider which is microsoft.jack.oledb 4.0 and the data source where my database is available C drive user Ankit Varma and desktop DB. So here this is the connection string which contain provider and data source. Now we want that with the help of button we want to count how many records are there into the database. So double click on the count. This is the coding of button. Now here first of all we has to open the connection. For performing any task we has to open the connection. After performing the task we will close it. So here we are mentioning cone dot open. So connection is open now. From this connection what you want that is the part of command. So here we are making the object or the variable of the command. So we are mentioning dim command as now OLEDB command because here we are running the MS access which is a part of OLEDB command. So here we are mentioning the command and we are going to write the command here. So command will be equal to new then afterward OLEDB command inside the bracket we are going to pass on the command which we are going to run and we are going to write the SQL query here. So here we are providing double quotes. Inside these double quotes, we are going to provide the SQL query. To count, we know that there is a count function available into the SQL query. Just like we simply write select, then afterward we write count and we provide the name of field. Here we are having, let's say, employee ID. So this is the name of field. Count employee ID from what is the name of table that is employee. So that is what we are going to provide here. This is the query which we have run. Select count employee ID from employee. From the table employee, we are going to count the employee ID field. Now, where we are running this? We are running this on the cone. Cone means connection. So first we create the connection. This is the connection string we have passed. Then we are going to execute this command. Now, this command is running properly or not. For that, we are going to take one variable. Now that variable we are taking here which is dim ra as integer. Here we don't need the data adapter or the data reader because data readers are required for reading the data. But here we are not reading the data and not displaying it on to the text box. We are simply going checking and finding the sum and showing. So in case we want that data should be displayed then for that we should read the data and show the test box. So data reader is not required in this case. Here we are using this RA and this RA will be for counting or making the sum. As we know that here we are counting number of records which are present. So here we are using this RA for that. Now afterward we are going to write this RA is equal to then from that command which we have written 
then afterward dot execute now there are three things one is execute reader if you are going to read the record and display then this is execute reader simply if you are executing some query then for that you will write execute non query let's say for updating deleting now if you are counting something then for that it is execute scalar so we are mentioning execute scalar here now afterward all the count of the employee id means how many records are there with that employee id will be counted then they are going to the array now after we are putting the message box in the message box we are saying that count then afterward in the count we are mentioning that we are concatenating with the array so the count will be available here with the help of message box and all things are done then afterward connection will be closed so we are going to close the connection we know that when we are dealing with a database we are working with some outside thing because database is not the part of dotnet we are making the connection so in the connection there can be the problem so for that we has to deal with the exception handling so here above that we are mentioning that try and catch block so inside the try we are putting whole code so that if any exception encounter that will be catched and in the catch we simply say there is some exception so we are going to write that let's say the message box which we want to print and we want to say that exception so that means there is some kind of problem it is not able to count the data or maybe some connection problem so exception is the common message for that now we are going to run this project so click on start debugging then here we can see that this is our first button whenever we start debugging then at the same time form is loaded it is going to import the system.data.oledb so namespace is included connection is created with the help of this connection string then we click on count then we can see that there is a message which is count to now when we click on this button then afterward this code work in the try connection open then command is executed selecting count employee id and then afterward with the help of connection it is going to count now execute scalar in terms of counting we use this scalar now all the counting is going to ra and ra is showing you the count so here the message box is showing us the count too which is available here count ra now connection dot close so here now we're going to see that whether this records are really true or not so we're going to close it and we are going to open the database so we are going on the desktop double click on the database then afterward we are having the employee table double click on that we can see that two records are available so that means our result is two now let us suppose we want that there should be the sum of all the employee id which are available so for that we are going back onto the form and we are going on the toolbox and here we are going to drag and drop one more button now this button we want that this should be for the sum so here we are going to provide the text here which is sum then afterward we are going to align this afterward we double click on this sum button we are going to apply the same thing that means similarly as we were counting the employee id here we are going to find the sum of all employee id so let's say we are going to copy the complete code from here now we are going to paste the complete code here then afterward in that we are simply changing in set of this count we are making sum we know that in the sql we are having a function which is sum so here we are mentioning select sum of employee id from employee and here we are mentioning that message box should be displayed with the sum all the things are remain same connection will open command will be there then afterward execute scalar because we are counting then afterward sum will be displayed if there is some problem then exception will occur so this is how we are going to copy this and we are going to make this simple now we are going to run that here again we are having the output click on sum you can see that sum is 3 so sum 3 we are going to check so crossing this then we are going on the desktop again opening the database click on the employee table 2 and 1 employee id 
is 1 and then is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So that means counting of employee ID is perfect. 3. There are two records and their count is 3. So we are going back. Now let us suppose we want to make some modification here. We want that there should be two text boxes. In front of that we provide the count and sum. So here we are going on the toolbox. Inside the toolbox we are going to provide the text box. Let's say this is the text box which is for the count and this is the text box which is for the sum. So these are the two text boxes we have taken and we can even provide some label here. Let's say we are putting it here that this is going to count. And afterward we are going to put this text box. So this is for the count. We are going to extend the size of this form and afterward we are going to provide one more label let's say this is for the sum so i am going to provide this now afterward i am going to align so count and sum of records into the middle then afterward this count we are putting on the left hand side then count is in between then this sum we are putting here on the right hand side with the text box and sum we are putting here so now we want that whenever we click on the count button then count should come into the text box one. So double click on the count. Then here instead of this message box we are going to replace the line and we are going to show the result into the text box. So we are writing text box one dot text that is equal to RA. So RA is going to count then afterward count will be coming to the text box. So we are going back and then we are going to execute this. And here we are going to click on the count. So you can see that there are two records which are available. So we are crossing this. Again, we want that when you click on this button, then afterwards sum should appear. So double click on this sum. Again, in the similar way, we are going to replace this line. And instead of message box, we are using the text box 2. So text box 2 dot text. Now that is equal to nothing but RA. So here we are going to run this project again. And we are going to click that then afterward click on sum we can see that sum is available so this is how we can count and make the sum of records which are available into the database